Okay, so my name is Ron, and today we're going to assemble a plow for an Argo Frontier 650. The plow came from Ontario Driving Gear in Canada. Hopefully we'll get it on the machine and, and show you all how it works. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have all your plow parts. We've already gone through our checklist. And the really cool thing about what we're going to do today is we're going to assemble this plow in my living room. I have an awesome wife, and uh, she said as long as I don't wreck her floor, she won't wreck me. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're putting the first bracket on the blade. That's the first step of building this. And I have in my hand here uh, the, the nut, the washer, and the bolt, and uh, a bushing. So I'm going to take this bushing, and there's a hole down here that we're putting the, the bolt through on the back side, so it goes through this way. And the bushing is going to slide over that bolt, and it's going to go inside of the hole in here, like so. And then you're going to take your flat washer and put it on, and your nut. Make sure the nylon part of your nut is facing away from the bolt. Uh, put that on and start it. And this is a lock nut. So once you get it on to a certain spot, it's going to stop. And you're going to need a three-quarter inch wrench and socket, which I happen to have here. And you're going to put your wrench on the uh, nut. And okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hook the springs in the top of the plow. And uh, we have two big huge springs here. And I'm going to go in the top of the plow and just tip them and turn them in like so. And I've got... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook these eyelets on to the springs. And I'm going to tip this plow back in place. That will allow the eyelets to start through this hole. And I have a flat washer I'm going to put on there. I'm going to hold it in place and I'm going to take another lock nut and put it on underneath and just start it on there. And there's going to be enough tension on these springs just to hold this in place as we go. And the same with the other side. Okay, so if I hold this up here now, you can see on the tape that we are an inch from the end of the nut. And that's our proper adjustment right there. Yeah. This is the knife. It's going to go on the front of the plow on the bottom. This hole is all pre-drilled. The holes in the knife are square. The reason for that is because you have carriage bolts that go in through the knife plate. You don't put a wrench on these. You just put them through, tighten them from the back side. They too have a lock nut. The lock nut is a 14 millimeter. We're going to put these all in place, one arm to the other side, tighten them all in, and it's pretty straightforward. It's not going to take very long to do. Okay, what I've done here is I put the blades on and I've tightened up these two bolts and these two bolts where the blades meet. And when I get them snug, I line up the bottom here so that they're both flush. And then I tighten them on in. And the rest of them are all still loose as you can see. I've done that because I want these ends to, to sit in together. I want them to be lined up straight. And then I'll tighten these two middle ones and then I'll work my way out on both ends to the outside. And that'll keep the blade sitting flat as it tightens down. Okay, blades on. Next step is to put on our skid plates. Uh, pretty much the same idea as the, the blade. They've got square holes. The bolts are going to go up through this way. The skid plate's going to sit like this underneath the, the blade. And the nuts will go on the back side. One on each end and then we'll move to the next step after that. Do the same thing. Same thing with the other side and do the line on your plate where it's bent. I'm just gonna make it as straight as you can with your blade and then tighten it up from there. <coughs> and that's going on, we'll do the same thing with the other side, the skid plates will be in place. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the block assembly in. And what this does is it works on this part of the uh, plow on the top piece and the block slides in these notches so that when you're angling your plow it uh, locks it into place. Actually I want it so that the eye hook is on this side of this support piece because I've got to put screws in here and it's got to sit in this way. The other washer on first and then the spring and then I take this block and it's threaded. What I'm going to do is I'm going to thread this eye hook into the block 
Okay. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a, a spring mechanism that you can pull. Okay. And it's tight there now. You don't have to have it real tight because it sits in a groove in here. But what you what you don't want is you don't want your uh, your eye hook to come off. So just a little extra little touch with the screwdriver or something. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to slide it into the groove inside of the uh, frame, and then I'm going to take my screws and my washers, and I'm going to put them down in through here in these holes. Line everything all up. Let's see there. There it is. There's one. Same with the other one. If you look inside here, you can see the uh, block is in place, and if I pull it, it pulls back. Everything to slide. Okay, so I've got the frame laid on top of this. I've got the notch groove inside that groove we showed you with the, with the block in it. I'm going to take this bolt here. I've got a flat washer on it. It's a very large bolt. It's the only one like this in the kit. You can't miss it. It's going to go underneath through this assembly here, like so. It's going to hold everything in place. Washer goes on the top. Once again, another block nut down on top of that. And we're going to tighten that all together. And that's our basic frame assembly. So take this apart, hook your cable on, screw it back together. It'll work great for you. And it's just that simple. Okay, so I got the plow outside. I've jacked the wheels on the front of the Argo clear. What I've got to do is I've got to take this plow and on the front of the Argo here, there's these tow hooks right here. And I have to take off these front tires and remove these bolts down inside here. Okay, so I've got the wheel off. The wheel took a, uh, it's a, a Canadian made machine. It's metric. It took a 19 millimeter for the wheel nuts. This is actually a, a 17 mil. I can't find one. A 5 8 is fitting perfect. So I'm going to use the 5 8 on this, do the switch, and then we'll uh, show you what the bracket's like. Okay, so this is the bracket that's going to hold the plow. And I pulled the tow hook off. The bracket's going to sit in so that it uh, fits around the hub this way. And the bolt's on. It'll stick out a bit. And the plow will hook on to, I'll probably hook it on the top hole on this one. i got the option of the top or bottom depending on how much uh, angle I want on my plow. For pushing snow. So we'll put that on and see how it looks. And there's the installed bracket. And I'm going to put the wheel back on and then we'll do the other side and then we'll hook the plow up. Okay, so the plow is on. The hook is not hooked through this. The winch line is. So it's uh, it's not going to come off when you're plowing. And it's not going to ruin your clasp on your winch. That'll stay good. A lot of times they'll bend on you and get ruined. I guess people will hook them in that way, but uh, pretty straightforward. The, the bolts go through on the brackets from the plow, bolt on. That's your angle pin there if you want to angle it. The plow has to be in the air to do that. Let's hook up to the winch on the front. And now we're going to take it and plow a little snow and see how it works. The snow's not deep, but I'm just going to try it out. Have some fun. <laughs> 